Rules, rules, rules. I can't wait to get my laser cutter qualification and get my rusty backside out into the real world. It's always, don't do this, don't do that around here. Imagine this place without rules. It would be chaos. The rules are here to make life easier and safer. <laughs> well, I still can't wait to leave here. I just do whatever I feel like. Oh, well, think about what things would be like if everybody just did what they felt like. On the outside, there are even more rules, only out there, they're called laws. These laws are here to help you, not hold you back. They're here to keep you safe, not grind your gears. I've never thought of it like that before. Your logic circuits are much sharper than mine, Zoe Bot. Aren't they always, Charlie Bot? You know, there's a law-making factory out there called the Northern Ireland Assembly. It's in Belfast. A law factory? You're kidding, right? I could see myself working there. I have a few ideas for laws. How about a two-day school week? Not so fast, Charlie Bot. The politicians are the people who make the laws. They are called members of the Legislative Assembly, MLAs for short. They come from all over Northern Ireland and are chosen by the people who vote for them. Just like RoboFactor? <laughs> so, how does this factory work? Well, it all begins with ideas. People come up with ideas for new laws. Something that will make the place better or safer, you know, something that will help Northern Ireland run more smoothly. I suppose that's part of an MLA's job then, to come up with ideas for new laws. So that's what they do! Yeah, the ideas begin their life as something called a bill. It's when the ideas for a new law are written down. First of all, the rest of the MLAs are told about the bill in a big meeting. And I call on Mr John McAllister to introduce the bill. Thank you Mr Speaker, I beg to introduce the bill. And that's it? With a new law? No, it's quite a long journey. The second stage is when the MLAs decide whether or not they think the bill is a good idea in general. And to decide this, they vote. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Contrary of any nose. If the bill is going to move on to the next stage, then more MLAs have to vote aye than no. And then it's a law. No, you have no patience, Charlie Bot. Now it's time for a small group of MLAs, also known as a committee, to look at the bill in detail. They'll ask experts for their opinion on the law. So, if the bill was about health, doctors would be asked what they thought. And so, if it was about schools, they'd ask teachers and pupils? Precisely. And now it's a law? No, but we're close. The next stage is when all the MLAs vote aye or no on the ideas the committees come up with. It's called consideration because they are considering whether the ideas are good or not. They do this twice. Do they get to shout aye and no again? Yeah! <laughs> I like that bit. And I suppose more have to vote aye than no if the bill is going to move on? Yes, and after that it moves on to the final stage. The final stage? So there's more? Well, there's just one more vote to do. The MLAs meet in the chamber again and decide whether or not to pass the whole bill. By voting aye or no? Yeah. And that's it? Well, just about. The MLA's job is done. Then, the most senior lawyer in Northern Ireland checks the bill and then it's sent to the Queen for her to agree on it. 
That's called royal assent. And that's it. The bill becomes something called an act. And now it's law. That's right. What started out simply as an idea to improve our lives becomes a bill which gets debated, voted on, investigated and then voted on again and if it makes it through all of that it becomes a law. I suppose if it was easy to make laws and just anybody could do it we'd end up with some stupid laws. You've got it. The people making the laws are elected by us and make decisions for us. I better start thinking about who I'm going to vote for. <laughs>